Hey guys, this is Sam, and I want to talk a little bit about the touch bar on the new 13 and 15 inch MacBook Pros. First off, ever since I started looking at it and using it, something felt a little bit off, and I couldn't pinpoint it just yet until I got a little bit closer, like eye level with the display on the MacBook Pro. I started looking at the touch bar and noticed that it seemed fuzzy or blurry or lower resolution. So I did some research, found out that it's actually considered a retina display by Apple's standards, but something still didn't seem right. I wanted to figure out what the pixel per inch count or PPI of this touch bar was. And mysteriously, it is located nowhere on apple.com. In any of the references, it's not mentioned. Even on Apple's developer site, there is no indication of how many pixels per inch the touch bar actually has, which is strange because a touch bar is quote unquote considered retina display. But when you look at it and compare it to other retina displays, something isn't right. And it turns out that that's because the PPI on the touch bar is about a third as much as the iPhone 7 has, or really any retina iPhones over the past four or five years. So to find this, I actually had to do the math. I measured the length and width of the touch bar, solved it using the good old Pythagorean theorem, then plugged that into a PPI generator website, tested it on another site just to make sure that this calculation was correct, and got that the new MacBook Pro with touch bar only has about 109 pixels per inch, which is confusing because I thought Retina was supposed to be clear. I mean, hey, compare it to the screen on an iPhone, 326 PPI, or even the display on the MacBook Pro itself, sitting at a comfortable 220. It all looks super crisp and clean because Apple knows that you're gonna be sitting near these devices. And when you look at them, you want something that's well, crisp and clean. You don't want to see those pixels. That's the whole point of a high PPI condensed on a smaller display in general. But for the touch bar, which you will obviously be looking at because there's no way anybody can memorize the layout of these dynamically changing views, it's super strange that it's around 109 because that is obviously very low when compared to any of the other Retina devices that Apple has released in the recent months. It definitely looks a lot different when compared to the display of an iPhone, iPad, something like that. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the new touch bar. Let me know down below in the comment section if either you noticed this or if you think it's kind of a problem in general. I would love to hear your thoughts as always, so please leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more and hit the like button if you would be so kind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. Have a good one and I'll talk to you later.